Greetings, and welcome back to Don't Starve, the Wanderer's Challenge. So I need to get back to my base. I think I'm going to let my sanity drop a little bit, but I need to collect cacti and cook them up to be able to recover from it. But I need to, uh, to harvest some... Well, there's another way to drop my sanity. Because I need to collect some shadow fuel. And I can, if I get back to my base, I can do some prototyping to get my sanity back up. Hopefully I don't wander into a shadow creature while I'm sitting here trying to adjust my inventory. Where did you come from? Well, I've gotten my sanity up to where I'm not in danger anymore. So we've got four Nightmare Fuel. Now for the Shadow Manipulator, we need three more Nightmare Fuel, three Living Logs, and one Purple Gem. Let's go ahead and make another, or get the ingredients to make another hand bat. We'll make it when we need it. Oh, I meant to grab something for fuel. We'll just keep this on us for now. We can restore our sanity pretty easily by making another bedroll for this night. We've got plenty of food. That helped out a little. Let's take the bacon and eggs with us. And of course we need the stale meat. Still haven't spent enough time around here for these to grow. I really need this, uh, this one and this one to grow. Now there was the potential for beefalo south of us. I still need three nightmare fuel, but I also need living logs. Have I seen any totally normal trees yet? No. Let's go ahead and bust open this cave entrance. And see if there are any light bulbs under here. Hopefully we don't run into any bunny men. I don't think they're out during the day, only during the evening and night. Because I do have meat on me. Ah, uh, Slurtle Mound, right near here. I also hear some... Whoops! My torch is about to burn out. Made it. That was close. Yeah, a bunch of Slurtle Mounds right near that cave entrance. So this is a bad spot to set up a camp. Unless I were to clean all of them out. Ah, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. That should be sufficient. Well, we managed to ca uh, collect a handful of, of light bulbs, so we should be able to make a lantern, which will be a more reliable suit, food, uh, light source, so we can just use the torch for burning things. Now we'll go ahead and head down here, though.
collect any green mushrooms we see, we can throw down a campfire and get our sanity back. Six should be good. Let's go ahead and throw down a fire. Got enough to make a backup campfire. I guess we should go ahead and make that ham bat. Because that was about to turn red. Of course, I think you can wait till it's almost completely gone and you'll still have a fresh ham bat. But that also cleared up an inventory spot. I got a stack of grass back at camp, but I will be hitting some tumbleweeds for twigs and grass here. Beefalo! Yay! Just the one? Well, it'll breed. I heard beefalo. Where? Was I walking toward them? Yeah, I think so. Well, we have finally located beefalo, at least, even if it is only a few. So this savanna is the place to come down to for the beefalo. I was trying to get a little bit more manure to get my farm set up. And I'm also going to need to know where the beefalo are to get prepared for winter. We've only got about 20 more days before winter, I believe. Oh, well, would you look at that? They're protecting a cluster of grass in the middle of a savanna that is pretty heavy with grass. Yeah, this is the beefalo savanna. Collected a handful of manure. And I know I've got some bone shards, so we should be able to make the bucket of poop to be able to transplant our grass when we want to. And it sounds like we have a hound attack incoming. I don't have the inventory to deal with this. Good pawn them off on the beefalo. Sounds like they're going to be here fairly soon. So right here along the road is where the majority of the beefalo are. King is over that way. Just four again. Now there was at least five because one of them was red. He's not following me anymore. Must have gone to deal with the beefalo. Hopefully he didn't burn the entire herd. I'll just tank him at this point. Didn't take too awfully much damage doing that. Quano! 
I'll tell you what, I should probably go ahead and put my birdcage down and start making more bacon and eggs. It lasts longer than meatballs. Now, what do I need to make this other light source? Just two rope, and I've got it. I don't have the grass for the two rope right here. Yay, now we have a lantern. Let me just set it down over here. So I can see to put some stuff up. I have my bird cage. Now the bird cage doesn't have to be really close because it's not it can't be set on fire. But I'm going to put it right there, I think. See if I can't catch me a bird or two. Hey, we got a bird. And it's alive. So now we can use up a lot of this monster meat. So a monster meat, a morsel, and two eggs. We need four more, I mean eight more eggs. So let's take half of this and feed it to the bird. Yeah, I like this crock pot set up because you basically can access all of these crock pots and still keep the uh, refrigerator open. I think we'll end up feeding that to a pig. There we go. So let's grab the four cooked monster meat. Gord's not. And let's go ahead and head towards, uh, let's grab a couple of the light bulbs. For our lantern. And let's head toward uh, where the pig king will be. I should bring some bacon and eggs with me. Actually, I could probably eat one or eat a meatball by the time I get back over here. Yeah, the meatballs are starting to turn a little. But yeah, we will take a couple of bacon and eggs with us just in case we're out longer. No, I guess we won't. Well, I can leave the pitchfork so I can grab a couple of bacon and eggs. Bad luck, we haven't found Chester yet. <laughs> oh, my weapon was in there. There, that worked out. We did find the pig king. We found where pigs are. I'm going to go ahead and explore this area. It's probably going to be fairly small. So the pig king was on a little bitty peninsula. There's six pig houses here. I could clear them out so that I could visit the pig king without having to worry about... Um, Nighttime, which also reminds me. Let me go ahead and collect all of these to make more nightmare fuel. Well, it was ten of them. I need two more. 
Alright, that one's ready to chop down. That one's ready to chop down. That one is. But none of the ones I want to relocate are. One more nightmare fuel. And two more dark petals will do it. And we could make that. I need to boost my sanity. So let's prototype a few things. Actually, I have food. What I should probably do is just make a bedroll and go ahead and pass the night. Are there any meatballs left? There we go. Now we can head up here and cut down some of these trees. Good. This one that I wanted to clear out is finally grown. I think I'm going to leave those as, that I'm going to replant as stumps right now until I get some of these others cleared out. I, I would like a tree guard of some sort so that I could get a shadow manipulator going. I think I need four boards for this. Well, I can check. I'm right here at the damn thing. Yeah, four boards, four hair, and four cooked meat. I've only got two meat right now. This one is grown. Maybe it'll trigger a tree guard. Yes! Uh, those two are too close. To, three of them too close together. Alright, well, there's a way around this. Let me get my marble suit. And I can just tank these guys. one down. I think I'm going to need another axe. get the football helmet and the log armor you don't get stun locked by the birch nutters which allows you to basically stand there and tank groups of them it'll do some serious damage to your gear though but you are able to clear them out fairly easily and the only thing that will really interrupt you is the root. Which makes it a lot easier to... Here, let me just drop this. So I can get out my shovel and get these... Uh, let's drop the spear that I should have used up. Oh, we get some nightmare fuel. And with the living logs, now all I need is the purple gem. And I can make the shadow manipulator. Let's put the living logs in here. Yeah, now that is a good source of filler now that you can use the birch nuts. 
Alright, so this one needs to be replanted. Where's my shovel? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go further this way. Seven. And eight. Let's go for twelve. That's nine. This will be ten. And we'll put two more the other direction. We're at full health. We don't really need the stale light bulbs. We'll just put them in this one to rot. Back up marble suit. We need a backup log suit too. We're getting low on sanity. We've got some food. Just go ahead and make another bed roll. Pass another night. It right, looks like we're going to be making another ham bat soon. Bunch of things are about to break. But we've got a steady supply of food, steady supply of sanity. I believe we are going to be able to make it through the winter. I could use some beefalo wool and a horn to make the beefalo hat, but we do have the rabbit earmuffs, if nothing else. Now it's just going to be a matter of exploring, I think, and finding the different things. I don't think we've gotten the one in the swamp yet, so let's head up this way, though my packs are full. Actually, I need to spend today harvesting resources. Because I'm almost out of grass. I don't have a backup stack of grass. We also still need a purple gem. We will get a purple gem if we find the wooden thing. Because there will be a bishop near it. getting close to the possibility of Berger. I should probably go collect a whole bunch of cacti and cook them up and carry them around to be able to deal with the insanity aura with him. Because with, uh, oops. Oh, I'll just let the war happen. With the, um, marble suit and a football helmet and a hand bat, you can tank him pretty well. You just gotta worry about the sanity. That's a pretty large swamp. Sounds like I pawned him off on some tentacles. Almost pawned myself off on a tentacle. Level three! Getting close to the sun being up. Let's start by dropping the hat. That clears up an inventory spot. Let's drop the pitchfork too. Alright, we'll start with the... 3% spear. Let's put something else up. The axe. realize my ingredients for a hand bat were in here. I'm going to go ahead and use the spear up first, but let's get the hand bat materials, put up the pick and the shovel, and get our armor back on. I thought we had a low percentage armor. Where did it go? 
Well, let's use up the 10% Marvel suit. So I got one too many things to carry. I suppose I could go ahead and make the handbag. That would allow me to carry everything back. Now there's probably a set piece attached to that greenery somewhere. But I need to clear some inventory space up first. Oh, we still got some duration left on the light bulbs. Um, there, that got two of them. Took care of our sanity. We need to burn four things. I cleared up another spot. What does that make? Does that make trail mix or does that make wet goop? Well, it's cooking up. I'll put up this spider silk. Actually, no. Uh, where is the other spider silk? I guess this is all the spider silk. We can prototype a few more things. A fishing rod. I need a rope for the bug net. Let's go ahead and prototype a machete. What other structures can I prototype? The pig house requires three stone and four boards. I've got four boards in the chest over there. So I've got everything else I need to prototype it over there. I'm about to need new tools. So I need the boards and four pigskin. Got these spider eggs. Let's put it up here. And we're going to need more lumber. Let's, let's grab that spear because we can end up breaking it. Where's the shovel? Put up the net. Put up the fishing rod. And I guess the torch right now. So that made ratatouille. I do have another bacon and eggs. What would four birch nuts make? Oh, I do have monster meat. I could be making meatballs. That made wet goop. Got another hound attack incoming. What... It's only been like four days since the last one, hadn't it? Grab a bacon and eggs, put this wet goop somewhere to rot. Let's drop the machete. Actually, let's drop all of these tools right now. That wasn't too bad. 
didn't end up breaking that spare marble suit, but they didn't do a lot of damage to me either. I still haven't bothered to get my rocky turf. Alright, let's just head up this way. Where's my lamp? Let's make sure that is on an easily accessible spot, along with all my weapons. And we're going to explore this stretch here and see if there's a set piece over here. No such luck. It's just a section of forest with a cave entrance. I saw something over here I wanted to grab. Oh yeah, I need two... I need one piece of paper to make a compass. That's something else I could prototype. And we've survived another 10 days. We're still exploring the swamp. Just got a few stretches, but this is a pretty sizable swamp. It'll be a source for food. And as well as sanity, because I have found quite a few green mushrooms over here. But we'll call this an episode. So thank you all for watching. And hopefully, we'll see you next time.